Hey, Gavin, um, with your offensive performance today and even in the last game, how has that just helped boost your confidence? Uh, yeah, I think anytime you can find some barrels early, um, especially just getting on the board with the hit, your first or second at bat, it kind of takes a little more pressure off yourself going into the next few at bats and uh, just kind of loosens you up a little bit. So, yeah, I think anytime you can start the game off with an hop or a hard hit ball or barrel, it kind of boosts your, your confidence a little bit and uh, a little bit of momentum there for sure. And how would you describe the feeling in the clubhouse right now, especially considering there's another game tonight and how you guys can turn things around? Yeah, I mean, the vibe hasn't changed at all. You know, we're, we're a really good team. We know that. Um, obviously, we didn't play great, but uh, going to the next game, uh, you know, we're feeling fine. There's no worries. Thanks, Gavin. Next question from Jorge Castillo. Go ahead. Uh, Gavin, I know you had some success against Hendricks today, but what made him tough for you guys? You cut out a little bit there, you go. I was just saying, um, I, I know you had some success against Hendricks today, but um, what made him tough against you guys overall? Yeah, I think uh, his changeups, it's, it's a different look for sure. Um, you know, he's always on the edges, on the corners. So uh, I think you just have to have a good game plan going into it and stick to it. And um, you know, he was just always on the corners. So uh, you kind of got to take what he gives you. And uh, he did a really good job tonight. How stiff is that wind out there right now? Yeah, I mean, uh, I think anytime it's cold in Chicago, the wind always blows off the lake and it's always blown in. So um, I thought Corey hit one where it could have had a chance and the wind might have held it back a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's cold and windy for sure. Do you have people in town for this one too? Uh, yeah, I got a couple of buddies here. Um, no family right now, but a bunch of my buddies drove down. Cool, thanks, man. Okay. Next question is from Ron Kavner. Go ahead, Ron. Hey, Gavin, I know it's everything's kind of game to game with offense and things like that, but do you feel like um, the end of the weekend series in, in Milwaukee might have helped something with you just to kind of relax, not just for you, but for some of the guys as well? Yeah, I think uh, going back, I looked at a lot of video of 2019 and I'm um, just trying to end my setup, start with the barrel pointed away from me a little more and a little more laid off and relaxed and I think that kind of gives my body some freedom and um, rhythm that I need that I felt like I was missing a little bit. Um, so I think I kind of figured that out and uh, I definitely feel like I'm seeing the ball better now. How much of a balance is that between like looking back and trying to analyze every little thing to, to try to kind of get back on track versus trying to be relaxed and not thinking too much? Yeah, I think it kind of goes both ways. Obviously you don't want to be thinking so mechanically when you're in the box trying to face a big league pitcher. Uh, but in your cage work and your preparation before the game, I always try to, to lock in my mechanics or if I'm feeling a certain way, um, try to lock that in. So I think starting with the barrel pointed away and a little more relaxed, uh, that's been a really good cue and a really good feel for me these last two or three games or so.